wanted complete control of Berlin, including West Berlin. And to achieve their objective, the Soviets blockaded West Berlin. They cut off all roads, rails, water, fuel. West Berlin, at that moment, had 30 to 40 days worth of supplies serving two million people blockaded. What did the Western Allies do in that moment? Did they send concerns, deep concerns, thoughts, prayers? Did this United States Secretary of State ask them nicely to stop the blockade? No. The Western Allies, under the leadership of the United States State Department, organized an airlift. This airlift, it wasn't a single flight. It was 189,000 flights, delivering 2 million cubic tons of supplies for over a year. At one point, there was an airplane participating in this airlift arriving every 45 seconds in West Berlin. The Western Allies took action, tangible, concrete steps. Airlifts, my friends, my sisters and brothers, are not unprecedented. Blockades have been broken before. The United States, our government, has the means, the past experience, and the moral obligation to break the blockade in Artsakh. The coming days and months are going to be difficult. The enemies of Artsakh, the enemies of, Armenian, of the Armenian people, are tightening the screws. They're going to test us. They're going to test our commitment. They're going to test our perseverance. They're going to test our ability to rise, to act, and to demand more. From now on, Sirelineres, from now on, you, you are the voice of Artsakh. You are the voice of the Armenian people. From now on, it is our job, our obligation. It is our marching orders, Merherahankne, to demand more from our government here in the United States. Demand more from all of our public officials, from the mayors, and city councils in Glendale, Burbank, Pasadena, Los Angeles, from Los Angeles County all the way to Sacramento and Washington, D.C. We demand, we demand the following. One, an immediate USAID airlift to Artsakh of food, medicine, and humanitarian supplies. Yes. We demand, we demand that the White House maintain Section 907 of the Freedom Support Act and ban U.S. military and all aid to Azerbaijan. No more slow walking waivers. There will be no waiver this year of Section 907. We demand that the President of the United States sanction Aliyev, the dictator of Azerbaijan, sanction Aliyev for his continued blockade of the Persor Corridor. We demand more than words, my friends. We demand more than professional meetings at the State Department and White House. We demand more than well-written letters penned by staffers in Congress. 
directed to Secretary Blinken. We demand that our members of Congress, that our public officials spend all of their political capital and break this blockade. The time for polite conversations is over. On Friday, this Friday, we are going to march from the Azerbaijani consulate to the federal building and we are going to keep knocking on the doors of every elected official, every public official, every member of Congress until the Petsor corridor is opened. We are going to demand that they continue to pressure the White House. We are going to demand that they take action until the blockade is broken. That, my friends, is the only acceptable outcome. We've done it before. We've fought for Armenia. We've fought for Artsakh. We've broken blockades before. And we're going to make them join us to do it again. Baikar Hanun Artsakhi, Baikar Hanun Haizhogurti, Baikar Hanun Haverjagan Hayastani. Baikar, Baikar, Michel Berch. Baikar, Baikar, Michel Berch. Thank you, Sirenina. See you on Friday.